I play all the games that came from Japan that were never translated. I now tell you what's going on. See ya, Kagema! Okay, welcome back everyone, this is Day of the Idea Part 2, and I am a little guy called Sam, in this crazy world. So apparently I've got some kind of ESP special powers, um, and that's pretty much all we know about the game so far. Um, we know that this kid was being tested on, he comes from Nagasaki. Okay, that's all we know. Right, I'm going to go through every single room of every single place and see if there's anything. Um... Doesn't look like it. Could you listen to this music? I mean, come on. It's just classic. There's literally nothing in this place. Oh, there's a bed. Can I sleep? Uh, well, I can sleep by paying. Right, anyway. Oh, I came from the south. Oh, I did not read that. Wait, 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 shut up. Shut up. I'm gonna read it again. I was living in the apartment south of here. However, now those apartments are occupied by monsters, so I ran to this town. At that time, there's just one precious thing, Takaramono, that I left behind in that place, and I deeply regret it. However, now it's become a den for so many monsters. My precious thing! Is that some sort of reference to Lord of the Rings or something? <laughs> okay. Oh, I need to check the time. God damn it. Um, okay, let's say we're a minute in. Okay. Right, let's go. Alright, I've spoken to you, I've spoken to you. What's this saying? If you go to the if you go to the government if you go to the government office you can save the game. We are living in a convenient generation now, aren't we? Yeah, super high tech man. Who's this guy? <laughs> They're pointless. Okay. Hey guys. Um, this is my friend Yusuke, or as we say in the English dub, Yusuk. He's a considerate guy, and he sits there at the bar all day, contemplating life, and he has something he wants to say to us upon meeting him for the first time. Alright, if you go outside without proper clothes, it will be dangerous. And how about some medicine even? Maybe the weapon! Truly insightful. Oh... Take your time. Okay, I will not. Let's go. Old man. Oh, I haven't got time for these old men. Let's go. So this is... What's this? Oh, this is also the government... Okay, this is the government office. Save. Yes, I'll save. Yes, I'll save in number one. He was just telling me how to dash, which is, you know, I've already worked that out. Um, what should I do? Should I go out of the town? Or should I... <laughs> one step and I get in a fight. What the hell? Okay. So I can use my red ching. Aka ching. Mm. Ah, I see. So you can actually fight with any item. That's crazy. So if I use this... Oh... So if you fight with your healing item, it just heals you. That is so stupid. Okay, well this is pointless, so I think I'm actually going to load the game, so bear with me guys. Okay, we're back here. Um, right. Let's go somewhere else. Oh, what? Okay, this town is way smaller than it's <laughs> letting on to me. I feel like I'm playing Pokemon. Did you ever see how they used to make small areas but make them look like bigger areas of Pokemon to fool you? When you go outside this house set to another area, you can see the last area you were in. So it looks like they're connected, but they're actually not connected, they're really small. So they'll add some small details from the past level around the barrier. What the fuck am I talking about? Right, anyway. Ah, you can't. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Either that person seeing a dream or they just called me a... They just said I was... What the? They just called me a pervert and said I was trying to touch them and stuff. What the hell? 
Well, I suppose I kind of did walk into her room in the dead of night and stand right next to her bed. Well, I think we found reason 3 for this game not being released outside of Japan. I'm going to use an image from one of the monsters later on in the game for this one. Yeah, you see that on the left there? That is actually one of the monsters from later on. Someone explain that to me. My wife's Japanese. Oh, a shop with nobody in it. That's great. Thanks, guys. This game is so good. No, I'm just kidding. I, I do like it. Come on, I still like it. I mean, there's nothing in any rooms anywhere, and there's just completely pointless buildings everywhere, but now nah, it's good. Goo goo goo. Okay, so everyone's sleeping apparently. I wonder if this actually has like a, an actual clock. Nope. Okay, come on. You could put some books in there or anything, just some information about what is going on in the game. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this. If you run, and then run to the wall, and it just stops. You run away from it. Normally. And watch this. If you actually press. Oh, sorry. If you actually press this button, look. It will get stuck. That is so pointless. Who programmed this? Anyway. Okay, so that's gonna be the way out of town. Questionable title sets there. Are these supposed to be steps? That is fucked. Right. DP? Did I go in the DP? Drunken Peasant's office? Nope. Anyone who doesn't know the Drunken Peasants, you should check them out. They're quite a funny YouTube channel. They've got loads of episodes of them watching TV shows and stuff. It's got the amazing atheist in it. Got a mile Okay, this recent earthquake was crazy. Uh, yes, and the road is going up and down. Oh, great. Thank you, yes. I'm a vet. A vet. In other words, I can treat animals. A doctor for animals, right? <laughs> okay, he's drunk. I came to this hospital looking for a job, but, but they said to work here I have to be a human doctor. Idiots! <laughs> okay, and we have yet another reason why this game was probably not released outside of Japan. Picture this, a vet tries to apply for a job at a regular human's hospital and gets turned down. He then proceeds to get drunk and shout outside the hospital. I don't think I've ever experienced anything like that in this kind of game or any kind of game except like Grand Theft Auto. This game actually reflects various issues about Japan's society. Anyway, it's easy to see why a drunken disorderly man shouting outside a hospital might not be deemed appropriate for translation, isn't it? This will be number four, after, you know, sneaking into someone's house and getting accused of molesting in their sleep. What? So you can newing, which means you can be admitted into the hospital. Chirio, which means get fixed up and stop. But if I actually get admitted into hospital. Okay, so I found out there's literally no point in going to the doctor unless you're like cursed or paralyzed or have something seriously wrong with you. <laughs> Is there anybody here who even needs to go to the doctor? Oh, uh, no, sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this alone. Or maybe if I. I've lost a bit of health, so maybe I do the Chirio. Okay, so I guess this is like poison or something. Or maybe there's like more meaning in the actual game. Take care. Yes, I will take care. Thank you. Get well soon. I'm okay. Get well soon. So that's just copy and pasted. Brilliant. Wait, it's Nurse Joy! <laughs> Shut up. Okay, there's literally nothing in any... This game... I swear to god, they do not pay attention to the details in this, do they? I mean... Items? <laughs> this is... It's quickly dawning on me how bad this game is, I'm only about 30 minutes into it. So yeah, I was um... I'm gonna just talk about Japan because that's what this channel's about, it's about fucking Japan, Japanese games. Um, I stood at university in Tokyo, learning Japanese for a couple of years and um, I had it was really weird because I had some classes which were really advanced and some classes which were just not advanced at all so sometimes I had to <laughs> it's the most ambiguous doorway look at that <laughs> how are you supposed to notice that I was just, just out of pure luck I just walked into that <laughs> out of that even get out of the friggin way um yeah, so basically, I studied... Oh, oh, the thing, there might be a day and night system. Oh, so that's why they were sleeping. Yeah, that's weird. The lighting just changed. Yeah, so I studied... Um, 
Oh yeah, I don't have any weapons. Ah, oh, I'm gonna run away. Well, oh, thank God. Right, I might be able to, they might be awake now. One step! Jesus Christ. Why do all the enemies in this game have human faces, by the way? Is this like a running joke? It's probably something to do with the author, isn't it? Uh, the artist. Anyway, so I had to study loads of um, really hard, like, medical kanji, and then loads of... Oh my god, how many times am I going to die in this game before I get some sort of progress? I've not gotten anywhere at this point, I'm just blabbing on. Blabbing on about... Oh, I'd have to come back here! But... Right, I might as well just load it again. Okay, we're back here again, we've made literally no progress. Well, I suppose we've done all the stuff that we've done. Oh no, it just went from day to night to day. Oh. Okay, maybe if I walk around outside it'll... Oh. oh, okay, it's just gone to day, I think. Oh, look, it's daytime. Whoa, this is a bit more advanced than I thought. This is a SNES game, guys. Come on, it's got a day and night system. Gotta give it props for that. So I had to study some, like, uh, really medical kanji, and then... Oh, oh, and it opens at this... Ah, okay. Whoa. Give me some sort of hint that this is, like... Okay, this is actually a little bit better than I thought. Okay, there's a department store. Oh, that's what DP stood for. Okay. Okay, thank you for using us every day. Okay, come on. Okay, it's gonna explain to me about... No, I don't want an explanation. Fuck that. Okay, what floor am I gonna go to? Hobbies. Medicine. Clothes. Okay, let's... Come on, let's... We need to get some... Equipment. So I, sometimes I was with like a bunch of retards who have been studying for about three months and I've been studying for about probably five or six years at this point. And then um, and then some classes were just ridiculous, like just only Chinese people in it who already knew all the kanji. So it was really confusing. But I had uh, loads of homework for both and I literally didn't get to sleep at all at any point. Right, I'm gonna kill Jean. 60M. Money. Right, I have literally no money. I wonder if I started off with any money. Maybe I can sell something. I'm gonna have to sell my Akachi. 10! Jesus. Oh, please don't tell just sell them all for 10. Oh. Wait, what? Right, so I need to buy something now. Come on, I must do something. Ranking shirts. Ranking shirts. What the fuck is a ranking shirt? Okay, plus one defense. Okay. Briefs. Cheap. G pan, whatever G pan is. Good pan, I don't know. Oh, sorry, pan means bread. Same as, um, unless it's pants. <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> okay, G pan, G pants. So G trousers, whatever the hell that means. Yeah, so you sneak. Ah, uh, cheap. Oh, so I can either have cheap sneakers, which would get me plus one <laughs> defense, or the shirt, which gets me plus one defense. Well, the shirt's only twenty-five, so I'm gonna go for that. I'm a cheapskate. Okay, that story about me studying I went absolutely nowhere. But my point is, I have actually trained to. Um, translate quite a lot of um, quite hard medical language, which is, you know, could not be said for everyone. What? Oh yeah, okay, <laughs> on the second floor. Um, okay, I really think I might have just wasted my money on that. I forgot that there were going to be other shops. Did I have to sell the exact same thing? <laughs> it's the exact same thing. What's the point of having two shops? <laughs> oh, okay. Can I either speak to her and get the exact same thing? Oh my god, what is the point in this? Because I just wanted to make it big. Put more people in here, why is there nobody else shopping? <laughs> Jesus. Right, so so far I've got some... I don't even know if... I haven't even put them on. Okay, I'm gonna change clothes. Um, yes, Sam, obviously. Oh, cool. Oh, that's quite cool. Let's get a little... That gives me an idea. Okay, guys, this is a seizure warning. And by that, I don't mean you're going to get a seizure by epilepsy or something. I mean, I had a freaking seizure when I was trying to talk in this next sentence. Are you ready for this? 
I'm also making a game called Healing Process Tokyo, which I spoke about a bit about that. A bit about, blah, blah, blah. A bit about that. Oh my god, I can't even speak. A bit about last time. Some fucking Canada. A bit about. A bit about. Um. So I'm gonna change my clothes. So I'm. I've been walking around in fucking hospital clothes this whole time. Oh my god. Is that reflecting in my sprite? That could be actually. Um. Okay, ranking shirt. I've already got this. Oh, thank god I didn't buy them. Um. Okay, I've got briefs. Yes, yeah, that's good. Cheap sneakers. Are you kidding me? Wait. So basically everything I could have bought at the shop was just what I've already got. You're fucking having a laugh. Well look, the level levels. Oh, there's no point buying that. Oh, uh, fuck it. Take off. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> look at his little nipples. <laughs> this is like... I say little, it's a fucking massive. This has got such a Japanese body. <laughs> oh my god. Right, so I can just... Okay, I can't take my briefs off. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna put these back on. Nothing for my head. Nothing for my neck. Okay, this is... Come on, this is quite advanced. Why have I got two of these? I've got this as well. Wait, what? I don't even understand what's going on. So underneath I can put on the clothes from my examination clothes or the ranking shirt. Oh, okay, and then on top I can put the... Right. Oh, so underneath I could actually just put on the same shirt twice. What's the point in that? Okay, well, I think that provides more defense, so I think I'm going to put on... No, not that. So I can put my shirt, my vest on. Wait, does that mean I put my, my vest on top of that? <laughs> that must be, no. Really that. What's the point of being able to put that on underneath? <laughs> God, God, this game design is so weird. <laughs> so you can choose between shitagi or u uagi, which is, you know, under, under under undergarments or regular garments. And you can put the regular garments on as undergarments. But then you can't put anything on top. <laughs> What's the point in that? <laughs> oh my god. Why did I even have sneakers on in the first place? Is that just because I just bought them? This is really strange. Okay, well I've made literally no progress so far. Except I cannot be bothered to go and see the floors on this. Okay, stop. Let's... No, not stop. Come on, take me down to the first floor. Information floor? Yep. Yeah. And nine floor. And you didn't even say anything. Oh, that's just impolite. <laughs> Alright, um. So, there's all these shops now. Uh, there's a money shop. What might this be? It's probably an item shop. So, he was actually sleeping. What? Wow, this is so cool. Why, do I, why am I so impressed by this? <laughs> Ranking shirts. Oh my god, everything you can buy in this game is the exact same wherever you go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, 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 I don't need the ranking shirts. God damn it. Looks like ranking shirt means vest, I guess. You learn something new every day. Ranking shirt. I think I'm going to be studying more via just playing games from now on. Hey guys, I just realized after playing that this is actually a place where you can get your items appraised. I'm so stupid. It's obvious, isn't it? Like, why would it happen to just sell one of the leftover items? <laughs> God damn it. So before when I went into the house and the woman was like, you pervert. Huh? Oh. I just found a bra. <laughs> You're kidding me. Okay, this game is way better than I thought. <laughs> so she was sleeping here before and I came in and she said, you pervert. What? Okay, so she's not even wearing a bra in the daytime. Like, why does she leave a bra in her bed? Like, surely that's going to cause some serious tit saggage. Okay, so not only can I go back to the place where I was standing next to the woman sleeping and getting accused of being called a pervert, I can actually go into her bed and get her bra. Well, anyway, this is definitely reason 5 that this game wasn't released outside of Japan. We're currently on 5 reasons, and I've only been playing this game for about 50 minutes. I mean, there's like an offence in every 10 minutes of this game, and I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing either. I'm going from place to place really slowly. 
I could have progressed more by now. Ah, uh, this is just classic old pervy Japanese game. I just found a bra in a bed. So, what, she's not wearing a bra now then? <laughs> this is so weird, what the hell? Oh my god. I think I've been playing for like... 20 minutes already. Okay, I've been playing for 20 minutes, so that's the end of this episode. Subscribe, comment, rate, all that good stuff. And I do genuinely mean this, I want to make a community of people who care about bringing up these old games and bringing them back into the spotlight. I've decided that I'm definitely going to start doing documentaries about each of these games because there's just so little information about them and I think it's it's such a shame when people who clearly have a, a love for their art when that work just isn't appreciated. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna contact the people who made the game because it never got translated. I'm gonna try and do some interviews and I'm also gonna look over all the articles for the game back when it was released and just see if I can find out any more information about it because this game has a serious lack of information anyway. I'm sure there'll be some written in Japanese so I'm going to translate it and I'll probably upload it somewhere. Like I said, yeah, I'm going to make a documentary about this game once I've completed it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.